Hello, my name is Sarah Bacher, and I will be presenting about the worst air pollution disaster in U.S. history that took place in 1948 in an industrial borough in Pennsylvania called Denora. The general objective of this presentation is to give a brief overview of the air pollution disaster that took place over 70 years ago and left a long lasting impact after. This presentation will not address all events that led to this event, so please be mindful of this, that this is a history recap from the information that was available online. I will touch on the investment of the zinc mills that contributed to this tragic event and how this shed light on a larger ignored and underrated issue of poor air quality. My goal is to give a summary of Denora, Pennsylvania's tragic air pollution disaster in a concise manner. I will first start by setting the scene of what Denora was like in the mid-1900s, which will allow us to understand how this disaster came to be. Following that, I will touch on the tragic events that occurred between October 26, 1948 and October 31, 1948. I will also touch on the factors that contributed to the smog disaster and how this became the birth of the Clean Air Act. Denora is a borough in Washington County, Pennsylvania, on the Mono Galley River. If we see image one, we can see that is the Horseshoe Bend shaped river. Denora was created on agriculture, coal mining, steel making, wire making, and other industries along this path of, of the river. Because of its location, it soon became the site for steel mills such as the American Steel and the Wire Plant and the Denora Zinc Works, which were also major contributors for the unfortunate air pollution disaster. It is also worth mentioning the climate of Denora because it sits right along the river and uh, that gives, and it, it's characterized the climate by hot and humid summers, but we also see that it has mild to cool winters. So if we were to classify the climate, it would give a subtropical climate. Before I go into detail about the 1948 smog disaster, I would like to say, take some time to discuss what smog is, how it's created, and what are some of the main components. Smog is mainly composed of tropospheric ozone primary particulate matter, such as pollen and dust, mixed with secondary particulate matter, such as sulfur oxides, organic compounds, nitrogen oxides, and ammonia gases. Humans contribute to smog production by coal combustion emissions, industrial emissions, and agricultural fires. The table here lists some common sources of each pollutant, but keep in mind this is not a comprehensive list. In this table, we can see major pollutants such as organic compounds, nitrogen oxides, sulfur dioxides, and particulate matter in their main sources. We can see evaporation of gases, fuel combustion, vegetation, forest fires, and fossil fuel-powered plants contribute in our main sources of these pollutants. Physically, smog looks like a dark gray cloud that hinders visibility. Now that we know the major players in smog, we can go into detail about what happened in October 1948 in Denora. The poor air quality in Denora, Pennsylvania was not a result 
of one particular event, but rather years of pollution emitted by American steel and wire plants with Denora Zinc Works. Zinc Works began its production in 1915 and the American steel followed in 1918. The graph shows the progression of sulfur dioxide in the air over the years. The steep incline seen in the 1920s up till 1940s is a direct result of the heavy industrial culture Denora, Pennsylvania had. This data is collected from a literature review and it's reflective of the industrial and manufacturing boom in Denora. The peak we see is around 1940s when the smog disaster occurred, which changed manufacturing. And after this incident, regulations and protocols were put into place for air quality control. So we see that steep decline afterwards. So as the economy was flourishing and jobs were being created, the air quality was being severely impacted. Now to talk about the five day smog disaster that began on October 26, 1948. On October 26, 1948, Denora was hit with an anti-cyclone. This is a natural high pressure phenomena in which air is drawn through the system in a clockwise motion and creating a temperature inversion which blocks the cool air to rise. The cool air in Denora's case was heavily polluted with the factory's pollutants and toxins. A sea of fog trapped the pollutants emitted from the factories near the surface of the earth, which kept accumulating and turned the fog into smog over the course of just a few days. In this bar graph, we can see the increase of the smog level over the course of the five days. On October 26, when the anti-cyclone hit, smog level was relatively low in comparison to October 31st. As the smog levels rose, the smog became more poisonous. So on October 30th, the first of the 20 deaths occurred. The number of total fatalities in this air pollution disaster was 20 reported deaths. Total people were 14,000, 1,440 reported serious symptoms, 4,470 reported moderate symptoms, and 80, 70 reported no immediate symptoms, but that does not mean that they were not affected long after this air pollution disaster. This air pollution disaster brought air quality into question and became the reason for the birth of the Clean Air Act 1970. This act regulates all sources of air emission. As we can see in this table, we have carbon monoxide, nitrogen dioxide, particulate pollutions, and sulfur dioxide, along with the limitations of how much exposure can happen in one continuous go. To give a quick summary, on October 30th, 1948, the first of 20 deaths occurred from this toxic smog looming over Denora, Pennsylvania, which was a result of heavy industry and factories without regulations. This poisonous fog incidents led to awareness of toxins in the air, which became the reason for the birth of the Clean Air Act. Thank you.